Hello, hello, and welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race Rejudged, where today, we will be taking a look at the All-Star 6 timeline where Silky returns to the competition instead of Eureka. We will only be looking at two specific timelines here, so if you disagree with anything I say, please let me know in the comments. The first timeline we will be looking at is the timeline where Silky is able to bring the confidence from her lip syncs into the competition. If you remember, on All-Star 6, Silky was not showing her full level of energy and personality, she was toning it down to try and appeal to the fanbase more. We saw a lot less of that in the Lip Sync Smackdown, so this timeline is going to examine what would happen if she's able to come into the competition with confidence. As we saw on Canada vs. the World, Silky is incredibly funny and can really succeed in a challenge like this. So in the timeline that she gets her confidence back, I believe she wins this challenge. That leaves Ginger, Kylie, Raja, and Trinity in the bottom. Silky and Jada lip sync to Good Golly Miss Molly, and it is a double win, and I believe Silky would send home Trinity. Not only does Trinity have the worst track record here, but Trinity had pulled Silky's lipstick the episode where Silky went home, so Silky is able to get revenge in a fair way. In terms of the fan vote, I think Silky would do well, not as well as Kylie or Raja, but I think she was a pretty big fan favorite right after the Lip Sync Smackdown, so I can't see her doing badly. Looking at the track record table here, Raja is the best, Kylie is behind her, Ginger is in third, and Silky is in fourth. She did the best she could after returning, it's just she didn't really have much time. At the finale, we see all the queens, runways, and performances. I think Silky does unfortunately get cut here based off her track record. She doesn't have the many high placements and strong performances throughout the season that Eureka did. Ginger, Kylie, and Raja lip sync for the crown, and I think Kylie still wins. The second timeline we will be looking at is one where Silky does not come back with her Canada vs. the World Season 11 confidence, and instead continues to edit herself to try and be more marketable to the fans after the way they treated her. In this timeline, I think Kylie is able to get the win over her, and the fact that Silky is in the bottom kinda dooms her. Kylie and Jada lip sync to Good Golly Miss Molly. Once again, it is a win, and Silky is eliminated. However, that is not the end of this timeline, as Trinity K. Bonet has now made the finale. Let's continue. Looking at the track records, Kylie and Raja are tied for first, Trinity is in third, and Ginger is in fourth. As was the case in the original timeline, I don't think anyone is cut at the top four here, everyone lip syncs for the crown. In this timeline, I don't think Ginger or Raja would win, however, I think Kylie or Trinity could easily win the season, I might even lean towards Trinity in this timeline. As great as Kylie's glow up and performances throughout the season were, Trinity had one of the greatest glow ups in terms of pretty much everything. She was a massive fan favorite, she could steamroll a Rumix, she would do great in a Lady Gaga lip sync. I would be willing to bet money that it would be a very close race between Kylie and Trinity in this timeline, and I genuinely don't know who would take it. Please let me know your opinions on who would win in the comments. However, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. But do you want more non-Emmy-nominated content? Well then, subscribe for more gay